Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Well, now the fun begins. Working on this final drive. And uh, just a quick side note, you will notice that I'm actually uh, filming, no, I guess you'd say vertical. I'm actually doing that because I've got to be able to use both my hands to do this. However, the good news is I actually have a, uh, well, a carrier, like, uh, like what you see a lot of guys carrying their GoPros on, like a chest mount, chest mount carrier. And it should be, it's, it's already ordered and it should be here Wednesday. And so hopefully once I get that, I'll be able to go back to horizontal. But until that time, I'm going to have to st stick with vertical. So let me see if I can take and put it into my homemade cell phone holder. There we go. Maybe. Okay, I've already got the jack down underneath there. And I like these air jacks, they're nice. Okay, that should be close to being off the floor. Yeah, we are for the most part. You just don't, putting your hand underneath there, you don't exactly want to be putting your hand underneath the actual lug. Put it between the lugs and that'll give you a rough idea. In case the thing should come down, your hand is still safe. And also, this is going to be, uh, well, part one of who knows how many. Probably about like when I did the, on this combine back in the winter when I did the rotor repair. I think that ended up being something like an 18-part setup. Because this is going to take a while. Okay. And sitting down in there because uh, in fact, I think I talked about it just a little bit last week when I was on my last rye video when I was cutting rye. We had the left-hand final drive go out last fall, right during harvest time. In fact, we were actually picking corn on the left side. And um, it actually went out, out in the field. And so that's always a lot of fun when you got to do all this stuff out in the field because once that back bearing goes you're done thankfully it did not go out when i was going down the road okay and then along with uh, the jack for right now i'm going to keep the keep just the jack underneath it but um until i get this dual do off and then once i get the inside tire off well i'll take that back before i take the inside tire off i'm going to go ahead and put uh, one of these big jack stands underneath it 
Got these off of a guy. Here are several years ago. They've, been, they've actually been really nice. And it used them at last fall also. Especially when you're in the field in dirt. Where you might not have a real solid base. Now here in the shed. Where we're on gravel. It's a lot more firm. Okay. Because I want to take and put that big jack stand. I got the I got the air jack underneath the underneath the axle. Well, you should be able to see that right there. But and so I want to take and put the jack stand up underneath this main frame right here just behind the axle because once i get this uh, inside tire off i will be i'll take and actually take the jack and lower some of the weight down onto the jack stand and these are actually 22 ton jack stands so they can take a lot of weight the problem is they're trying to get down in there Oh, boy. And, of course, my phone gets right in the way. I mentioned to you about that uh, holder, and it also has one of those strap deals you can take and put it on top of your head. <laughs> And so I might try that a little bit just see how it works okay gonna take it toss that down there for right now Okay, and looks like the duel might just be touching the ground, which is actually okay. Because once I start knocking all the lugs off, it's not gonna, it'll actually help hold it. And surprisingly, Those duels aren't real heavy. I mean, they got, they definitely have weight to them. Ugh, get the big socket set out. However, But they, the worst part of them is that the real is that the having that deep dish on one side they're real awkward because they're um, real really off balance when you, once you get them unhooked they, they just want to fall one way. Oh, that's got some weight to it. This here's actually my, all my one inch sockets. It's got little wheels on it, and they do okay if you're on concrete. Try and 
to find a spot to set that so it's out of my way and I have to work around it. And also, just one thing, most of these videos will probably be cut up into anywhere from 10 to 20 minute videos would be my guess. It makes it easier to upload. And unlike last year, or last fall, I can now use this big guy. And yes, you've seen it before. Big one inch Ingersoll impact. Now we have a, a, so a one inch air impact but last fall though, when the thing broke, when the combine went down out in the field, I, well, I loaded up a generator and our small air compressor onto a trailer. However, it does, that air compressor does not have, it's not plumbed up for, for half inch airline. And so to get all these lugs out, we have one of those, uh, like a reducer that you can use and um oh it's about that big round and it's like if i remember it's, it's like 55 to one so you take on the one side you, it takes 55 turns on one end to make one turn on the other and who knows how, how what kind of torque the thing's got but we actually use that to break a lot all, all these lugs loose because I couldn't use my one inch air. Well, then this year is when we got this big guy. And I, I've, I've done videos on that thing before, but 3,000 foot pounds of, well, break, what they call breakaway torque going counterclockwise. And so it's definitely got the power. And I'm not, the dual lugs, I'm not even sure what size they are. Well, hey, got that right, inch and eight. Come on. Yeah, there we go. And this thing definitely has some weight to it, I can tell you that much. Okay, not too sure how well you can see that. Come on. Well, that didn't take long. A whole lot it goes a whole lot faster than last fall and I gotta grab my fan it's hot inside that duel in fact actually it's just kind of a hot stuffy day it's around I think it's only in the low 80s but there's very little wind and the humidity has literally shot through the roof. I looked at the humidity gauge earlier and it was, uh, I think we're in the mid 60s. And they're calling for a hot week.
come on. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to call that an end of part one. And if it works out, maybe I can grab some video taking that inside tire off. So take care, thanks for watching, we'll see you back to the next part two.